Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and another part of my Sunday reset and organisation series. Today I'm going to be doing a clean across the whole house and basically sorting things out. I'm really struggling at the moment to keep up with the demands of everyday life like being a mum and working and trying to keep a house running as well is all just so much I don't know whether you're feeling the same um, but it just spirals as well like when it's in a bad state I will say as well my cleaning is very basic I am not a cleaning expert in the slightest I'm just a normal mum trying to make the best of what she already has so Arlo is helping me here do the hoovering he's using his little toy Henry Hoover at the same time and then it was only a matter of time before he took the actual hoover off me and demanded that I use the toy hoover so it's a, a very long process trying to hoover everything but I like that he gets involved and he absolutely loves to clean like I don't know what it is but he it's his favorite thing to do like he would clean all day if he could in the dark like we do I just love the way it feels so I thought I'd take the opportunity today to clean underneath the sofa a task that is always put off and I'm so glad I did because it was so dirty. I'm also trying this viral cleaning hack where you use a dishwasher tablet with boiling water to get off stains on your sofa so I'm going to see if this works out. You can also use a pot lid and put the cloth draped over the pot lid and then try and get stains off that way as well but I didn't have one so I was just using a cloth and it actually seemed to work like I was really impressed so I decided to actually try it on a stain that was on my rug to see if it would work on that too um, I don't know what this stain is it looks like some sort of curry or something <laughs> or pasta yeah and it actually worked it came off alright and I tried it on another piece of rug that had play-doh on and it didn't come off but yeah, definitely give it a go if you've got a stain that you need to get out because I was quite impressed by this. So here I'm using good old windoline and just trying to give the windows a bit of a clean. Arlo's helping me as well. And I'm wiping down with a wipe this bit of dirt, mould, whatever it is, on the window. And it's so gross. Um, I have to do this quite regularly with the windows because I think it's the same for quite a lot of people in the winter. But now I'm just trying to get the table wiped down and get it all nice and fresh. This table was actually from Von House um, and I really like it because it's quite small and it just fits really nice in the space in our living room and also just gives us a, like a tiny dining room zone which is really nice to have um, when you are when you don't have a big house. So I'm cleaning this area now and just hoovering the rug as well. The rug was actually really, really cheap. I think it was like £25 from Primark. Following on from this, I'm using my flash mop, which I love. It's the one that you can spray at the same time. So I use this and then either use like a floor wipe or a reusable pad. We're then just taking a break because we need to go and let the bunnies out and just give them some water, make sure they're all okay. I've just got Mr. Panda here um, and Arlo just loves seeing the bunnies. He loves them so much. Panda is the most soppy bunny you will ever be. And then we have a little bunny as well that's brown and she's called Dandelion. She's very sassy, got a lot of diva energy about her. Also, not sure why I'm squatting like this. Um, but yeah, we had to get changed afterwards as well because we got so fluffy from Panda and then we just got ready to have some food. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. So Arlo's got fish and chips for lunch with some vegetables and I put him at the big table today because his little table's upstairs 
because I was producing some like reels for it. Um, but he's loving sitting at that table. And whilst he's occupied watching Mr. Tumble, who I co-parent with at this point, I am just taking advantage of this and just putting some washing in the washing machine. I'm also just washing Arlo's new Zara clothes. Um, but I'm gonna be doing a haul for all of these clothes soon, but there's so many cute finds. I'm just giving you a little sneak peek here. Um, and I have recently got a new washing machine, so that's why there is like green paint mark there so I need to put that on my to-do list and paint that area and now we're upstairs after Arlo's had lunch and we're just cleaning the bedroom and just making sure that it's nice and fresh making the bed and tidying up a bit As you can see, I haven't actually got dressed yet today. I'm still in my snuddy and I haven't even brushed my hair. But this is reality and I thought, you know what, I, I could put makeup on and make myself look all nice, but that's just not real life for me. So I just thought I'd come on as I normally am in the day. I think it's also really important to consider and think about the content you're consuming in terms of like what videos you're watching and what social media things in general you're following because actually when you're following these people that have these amazing houses and these amazing lives and they're not showing reality it's incredibly damaging and you can sort of start to internalize this and think that you are the one that hasn't got everything together but I just want to remind you that nobody has their life together well I don't think they do anyway and it's just whether they decide to show it or not really so after I've given the main bed bedroom a bit of a tidy up and clean, I'm just going into Arlo's room now and oh wow, it looks like a bomb has gone off in here. So I'm just trying to work out where to actually start in this room, just getting some things off the floor and just giving it a general tidy up and I feel like as well, the fact that the room is so small just means that it gets cluttered and gets untidy very, very quickly because there just isn't enough space. So yeah, I'm just trying to organise things now and tidy things up and just make it in a little bit of a better state, especially for Arlo. I don't like the fact that if he was to go in a dirty, like untidy room at night, I just feel like he needs to be in a clean, like calm space for when he goes to sleep. So I'm just trying to organise things a bit for him. And also now just organising his paints because he's just chucked them out and trying to play with them everywhere. So yeah, I need to find somewhere better to put this. So after I made the bed, Arlo was pretty much ready to go down for his afternoon nap. I had to actually lay in the cot with him to get him to sleep and then try and climb out, which was interesting. <laughs> but that was pretty much like all the housework that I did apart from doing two loads of washing that day, hanging it up, and also we made a tuna pasta bake for dinner. So I feel like today was a really positive, productive day, and it set me up really well for the rest of the week. So if you haven't already, please do make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my Sunday resets or other videos. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your week, guys. I want to get away from every little thing